Hi everyone, it is Jen Morgano with Card and Mom by Jen Morgano. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in North America. I live in the United States. I am in New York. I live on Long Island. Thank you for joining me today. I'm doing another card that we did at my birthday stamp a stack. So we made two of these. Um, a little bit of a fun fold. Surprise! I meant to say ta-da and surprise prize at the same time so that's why it sounded weird but anyway um simple kind of just a, a fun fold that really makes the card wowza right we're using the ice cream swirl uh stamp set and dies for this this came out in the new mini in january love it i always get ice cream sets <laughs> um so yeah we're using the hope your day was sweet and this great ice cream swirl and then we're using the ice cream cone dies and this little accent here okay so let me get you started off with the measurements because there's a few <laughs> your base is going to be some gorgeous grape and that is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half then you're going to have a basic white layer and that is cut at four by five and a quarter I'm going to adhere that now. I have to get fancy video editing equipment that puts the, the measurements up for you. I'll get there one day. I, I don't know when. <laughs> so again, gorgeous grape. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then your basic white is four by five and a quarter. And then you're going to have a piece of DSP. And this is the eclectic um, DSP. It's called something else. Eclectic, isn't it? Any who's a what's it's. This was added on as a celebration item. So if you spend $50, you can get this pack of paper. And it's just, it's a great pack of paper. It is huge. It is 48 sheets of 12 by 12. So that that's worth it alone. And it has all the colors in it. Lots of fun designs. Perfect. Um, so this is three and three quarters by five okay so basically you're stepping down a quarter inch on each side each time yeah i can use this tape runner all day long and the second i put the video on bombs out <laughs> okay and now your fancy fold part is going to be a piece of basic white and it is cut at five, let me double check that. Nope, five and a quarter. So five and a quarter down here, same size as your basic white by seven and a quarter. Okay, and then you're gonna score it at one and three eighths, two and a half. I'm coming. Four and three quarters and then five and seven eighths. I will put a link below to my blog that will have the measurements on it for you, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, we're gonna fold it in so that the big panel right, is in the middle. We're gonna fold it in like that. Then we're gonna take this and fold it this way so that we have that little action right um we're going to have two pieces of that uh, dsp pack over here and this is one and an eighth by five so i'm just going to put those on now i think i might use a little glue for that i said a little that didn't look like a little ah oh no i hate when i touch tombow don't you it just pretty much guarantees that i'll be Spider-Man for the rest of the day, being able to pick stuff up. <laughs> and those are gonna go on these outside flaps. Okay. Okay, do that. I wanna get my stamping done before we adhere this to the card base. Excuse me while I leave glue bits everywhere. I'm using fresh freesia because it coordinates nicely with that designer paper there. And I'm going to use the Hope Your Day is Sweet stamp on the inside. 
hope your day is sweet. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to throw some adhesive on here and put that on our card base. And you just kind of slide it up. It's the same length as your basic white. So get up to the top of there and you should be good to go. Okay, we have one more spot of stamping to do and that's using the swirly ice cream. Again, I'm gonna use the Fresh Freesia, but I'm going to stamp on um, bubble bath. Okay, just to get that faint line. Let me bring in my stamp and cut and bless machine. This is the only one that I'm going to cut out right now for you. You don't have to make those sound effects. And it's really not that heavy. I don't know why I'm grunting like that. Other than I feel the need to make noise all the time. Okay, and we're going to use this big old swirl die on top of here. Here, put that down, Tombow. Boop. Okay. Put that down. Run that through. Take this away. <laughs> okay. And we have that. It's a cute little ice cream. And then I'm just going to adhere this. This is the more detailed die, um, just to add some layer. I cut this out in Fresh Freesia, though. And I'm just going to take some, a little bit of glue on the more solid parts. And this little cutout lines up to the inside of the stamped image. So I don't have to worry about trying to find where it goes. Kind of just slide it. There. Kind of covers the stamped image. Um, on my original sample that I did when I was mocking these up, I kind of took um, I think it was the Fresh Freesia blend and kind of filled in. You know, what might look nice here too is my Winkostella. I don't know where it is. Next time. <laughs> and what I did for my ladies as well, only because we were making ten of these. Uh, 10 cards at the camp. I didn't want us to be sitting around all day um, die cutting. Was I took this. This is the ice cream cone die. And you can see it cuts two out. You can fold it over. It scores the middle. You can fold it over to make a fun tag. Uh, but I thought I'd get uh, more bang for my buck. I put the detail die in it. Ran it through. Then ran it through again. And then cut it in half. So I could make 12, 12 of those ice cream cones fast cute, right? It also has um, the stamped image that you could definitely use as well next time. Okay, and this is how I assembled the card. I closed my flaps and along this left side, right where the seam is, I put two dimensionals. Oh, my garbage pail's too far away. Then I took my ice cream cone and I put it in the middle I knew it would hold both of those dimensionals. See, we certainly don't want to put a dimensional on the back of here so it closes this because then no one could open your card. That's no fun, <laughs> right? So do that. And then um, you can put dimensionals here for the ice cream cone. Um, I suggest uh, the ice cream itself, rather. I did the ice cream cone first and I didn't adhere the ice cream to it because I'd be afraid if we did that, it wouldn't fit in the envelope. So do that cone first and then kind of figure out where you want it. You can certainly put dimensionals here, and I'll do that now. At my stamp camp, I just ran a thing of glue over here and attached it that way. But same difference. You're holding it down. You adhere it to make sure it doesn't go past there. And the only thing you have to do to finish it off is to use some iridescent foil gems to make some some nice blingity bling bling on the card. Okay. So there you go. 
How fun is that card? I love it. Pretty simple fold, but it looks super great. Okay, again, that's the ice cream swirl. I will put all the details um, in a link to my blog post below. Uh, I might list the products I use there, or I might put it in, in the blog. Um, I always put it in the blog, so I may always do that. Um, again, remember, it's celebration till February 29th, so you can get a lot of cool products uh, for free with each increment of $50 you spend. Um, if you see the subscribe button below, please click it. I'd love to have you along my craft crafty journey. Um, and I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you want to see. Because um, I certainly don't want to be talking to myself. I mean, I do. I have two children. So I've been practicing for a while. <laughs> Guys, have a great day. And I hope you get to do something crafty today. <laughs> Bye.